Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, I want to shout out to The Wolfen. Hope I'm saying that right. He discovered that using the Cal 1000, or is it 9000? I forget. You can actually overclock the fireworks. Of course, this is a obvious bug. But, just like air hogging was in the old days, this bug has an extremely beautiful usefulness. It can create enormous amounts of thrust, so much so that your ship will always teeter on the brink of destruction. In this video, you're going to see me try and make a stock Orion drive using this bug. First, it took me a while to try to figure out exactly how to make the bug work. Not only did I have to play around with the actual force of the fireworks, but I had to also play around with the acceleration or how fast it leaves the barrel. Too much can spell certain doom. Too little and you're not really getting anything out of it. There's somewhat of a sweet spot and it's hard to find. It was at this point in the game that it was a eureka moment. I had finally found that sweet spot that wasn't too strong or too weak. From then on, I wouldn't mess with any of the settings. I would just take the part and start testing it in different designs. When I discovered I could actually use pistons to sort of soften the blow, I was really excited because of the fact of the fact that it started looking like an Orion drive. So once I figured out how to make the actual bug happen, it was just a matter of trying to find the right combination of parts to keep it from exploding in orbit. At first I thought I had it, but as I started tinkering more, I lost it again. Upon further research and study, I found out that while auto strutting the parts was good, making them rigid didn't allow them to bend or wiggle during the impact of the firework going off. This of course meant that they would crash into one another and explode. explode but sometimes they would just fall apart in really silly ways. It also helped for the engine to be as far away as possible from the command module or habitat. This because this was because the bug was so explosive that the part would literally shove itself into the ship and then back out again very rapidly. This meant if there was anything too complex in the way it could possibly break it. So some distance in between the engine mount and the command module and habitats was required.
when I finally figured it all out and got somewhat of a working prototype going on, I figured, well, there's only one way to really test this thing out, and that would be an interplanetary mission. So while this was successful and I actually got to Duna, I wasn't really able to park it in an orbit. But that's okay, because this is only a prototype. A lot of testing still needs to go on, but it's all the time that I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.